Firstly, I'd like to extend my deepest sympathies and thoughts and prayers to the families that are named in the Police Ombudsman report uh, on collusion. Uh, the British state murdered citizens of that state and then covered up their actions to protect the perpetrators of that murder. And the, the information revealed in those uh, documents are incredible. On the 5th of February 1992, <clears throat> the UDA murdered five nationalists and wounded another nine in the Sean Graham bookshop on the lower Ormo Road in Belfast. Two men wearing boiler suits and balaclavas pumped 44 shots into their victims. And the Ombudsman report into this atrocity also investigated the murders of seven other nationalists by RUC special branch informants at the time. These murderers were under the direction and under the employment of the RUC and special branch. And incredibly, the Ombudsman report identified eight British informants linked to the murders and attempted murders of 27 people. The, the police gun used was in the hands of loyalists. The RUC destroyed deliberately files. They failed to investigate CCTV footage. They failed to search houses of suspects. The RUC failed to conduct a full forensic test on blood. And they failed to test the getaway car for gunshot resins. These events and those details in Operation Greenwich are simply part of a continuum, Minister, of British government policy in Ireland that includes Bloody Sunday, the Bally Murphy Massacre, the Spring Hill Massacre, Lockin Island, Grey Steel, the Miami uh, Shoban Massacre and the Dublin and Monaghan bombings. And I also want to give credit to Stephen Travers, who I had the, uh, the honour of meeting with today in the way that he has campaigned for justice, uh, not just for himself, but for many, many others uh, as well. And incredibly, the police ombudsman in the north of Ireland has 400 more requests for investigations by other families and victims uh, and survivors. 400 outstanding requests that still have to be processed by the police ombudsman in the north. And these families have been through so much. 30 or 40 years after the murders of their loved ones, they have had limited details being drip-fed slowly by these reports. And they have been shockingly slow. And still, justice has not been uh, delivered to them. And for many of these people, what has been revealed in these reports, while confirming it to the wider public, is just actually confirming what they already know. So we know, Minister, that there is no British justice in Ireland. There is no British rule of law in Ireland. And if there's a, a British amnesty, the perpetrators of these actions will simply get away with murder. And remember, the British military who were involved in the killings were also involved in the killings of elected representatives, such as uh, Councillor Eddie Fullerton and Bernard O'Hagan. They also killed a number of election workers. Incredibly, the British state were threatening the democratic functions of this state at that time. And why did these covert uh, murders happen? They, these covert murder, murders happened simply because of the international pushback against Britain after what happened in Bloody Sunday. The British military knew that they could not get away again with killing nationalists live on television. They knew that they would have to do it in a covert fashion and use loyalist proxies to do that. And some people may feel that this is ancient history and I heard people talking about the fact that they are students of history. But this happened, Minister, in our lifetime. You were actually a TD in the same decade that many of the murders happened in, in these uh, files. The perpetrators of these murders live in the same towns and villages of the families of the dead loved ones. Some of the securocrats that were involved in, these, in this collusion are still in pay of the British state. And many who were actually promoted uh, in uh, their jobs. It's incredible. We had a British paratrooper who was in the streets of Derry on Bloody Sunday who was actually given an MBE by the English Queen as a result of his work on the uh, Derry streets. This is the same Queen that received a, co a commendation from the Sinn Féin leader last week, which was an incredible, just 50 years after Bloody Sunday as well. Irish Republicans, on the other hand, have spent cumulatively 100,000 years in prison. Think about that. Cumulatively, if you add up all of the sentences achieved by Irish Republicans for their actions, it adds up to 100,000 years. 
There is a massive contrast between the outcome for those actions and the outcome for those who perpetrated murder on behalf of the British state. And I can't think of another Western country which would have allowed this to happen to their citizens by a neighbour, by a, a, a neighbouring state, and have done so little to achieve justice. I can't honestly think of another European country that would have. I, I do appreciate that the government has met with the victims. I do appreciate that the government has denounced these actions strongly. I do appreciate that the government has, has laid wreaths at the monuments. And for sure, they have raised this over and over again with the British, but all with very little impact, uh, Minister. Operation Canova is a criminal investigation into RUC involvement into the murder of 18 people, alleged to have happened to protect a double agent's codenamed State, State Knife. Now, I understand, Minister, that files in the hand of the Guardi are sought by Operation Canova, and I also understand that there's a block on those files being given to uh, John Boucher, who's in charge of that investigation. That can't be tolerated. No excuse can be provided for that block. I also know that there are many cases where there's enough evidence to, to actually prosecute these actions that have happened in the past, and the PSNI are not prosecuting them. Now, I would ask you, Minister, to meet with the Chief Constable of the PSNI and to demand a way that these prosecutions are actioned upon. That the information coming to light in these reports could lead to further prosecutions and that they actually happen. I also believe uh, that the British government is a signatory to international agreements such as the Good Friday Agreement and the Stormont House Agreement. And again, I'm appealing to you, Minister, that you will use every tool that you can to make sure that we hold the British to account to those agreements. And I would include Ireland's position on the UN Security Council to ensure that an investigation is held into this. The Irish government, I believe, must tell the British government now that if it proceeds with an amnesty for Irish people murdered by the British state, that the Irish government will launch a judicial review against that legislation on the basis that it will likely contravene the European Convention of Human Rights, the Good Friday Agreement and the Stormont House Agreements. Minister, I think if you were to do that in very clear terms to the British, it would send a very strong message to them that if they proceed with the British amnesty, that they will have a legal battle on their hands to achieve it. And I'll say this, if the Irish government don't do it, we in AIM2 will do it. We will endeavour to do it through our members who have suffered violence from the British state over the years. And finally, can I say, I would ask the government as well to see, can it create a commission of investigation, an All-Ireland Commission of Investigation, that would share some of the characteristics of the Smithic Tribunal, which will allow for witnesses come from both sides uh, of the border to give evidence uh, in relation to what happened uh, in British state collusion. I understand because it's a different jurisdiction that there will be problems with it, that we, it won't be 100% as effective as we would like it to be. But I also believe that it would shed light to the hundreds of murders that were carried out by the British state in Ireland. And I ask the, the, the Minister to seek the creation of that commission of investigation as soon as possible.